Welcome into IDD, folks. It's a uh, wet my whistle wee Wednesday, as the highly questionable one, RJ Miliaccio, would typically say, and the redoubtable one, Tommy Izzo. Um, I'm, I'm kicking us off tonight because, you know, there's, there's forest fires, there's brush fires, and then there's scorched earth. And I think that's what's about to happen now. I've tried to warn him, you know, to just just, just go easy. Okay, uh, for those who um, are still swimming around in their father's scrotums, uh, Boston Celtics lost to the Heat tonight. And it wasn't one of those, hey, tough game, you know, you guys battled. It was one of those, what the fuck is wrong with you games? So, um, I'm just here to uh, listen and hopefully be a sounding board. Hopefully talk this man off the ledge. Uh, But other than that, um, without further to-do, go ahead, Mr. Mig. (laughs) You know, friends... Life is a circle. And when you go around that circle, you're going to notice that some things are going to be reoccurring. You know, like the sun comes up, the sun goes down, you know, the seasons change. The circle itself. The circle itself is reoccurring, okay? But usually that's, you know, you know that's limited to things like nature, you know, and, you know, you know, people have their birthday once a year, things like that, you know, holidays, that kind of shit. It's... Quite another thing when it's related to a sports team. Uh, And it's even worse when said sports team has more talent in their right pinky than their current opponent. Has all 12 men on the roster. And furthermore, if, if that wasn't enough, it gets even worse when... This team, which um, they're human beings, by the way, which means that somewhere in between their ears is a brain, you think. Um, and brains, you know, we, we have memories. We're supposed to have memories. You know, especially, you know, remember good things, remember the bad things. Remember things that really kind of, you know, especially the bad stuff. You, can't think, you tend to remember the bad stuff more than the good stuff. In fact, people always tell you, hey, don't forget to remember the good stuff, too. Because whenever you talk to somebody, you're usually bitching about the bad stuff. Okay? So most human beings... I say most, key word is most, don't seem to have that problem. That's kind of par for the course if you're a human being. You mean thinking about the negative? Focusing more on negative, you remember the negative memories more than the positive memories. That's, that's how kind most of, people that's are. That's kind of how human nature, yeah, most key words. Our, see, see our, our brains are defaulted to have more negative thoughts than positive thoughts. That would be what he would refer to as human nature. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, human nature. But then there's the Boston Celtics who defy human nature in every way that a human being can defy human nature. Um, You're supposed to learn, you know, that we have a saying as coaches now, the the PC one, you know, you're either winning or you're learning. Um, That is clearly not the case with the Boston Celtics. Um, I'm trying my best not to put my foot through this screen right now. And smash this entire Why fucking you do set. That? Because stop acting like just stop, just stop talking. How are we going to record? Stop talking. I'll buy, we- I'll buy. I would buy new equipment because it would be worth it just to smash all this shit. Because that's how mad I am. And I got news for you. If you think, don't open your mouth. Come on, I don't open your mouth. No, I don't want to say anything. You're not. This time, my dad. this time, you're not going to interrupt me. Oh, okay. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at this. Hey, what about that? No, not tonight. Oh yeah, you never. Not, cut not me tonight. Up. Not you, are, dude. It's your, it's your, it's your calling card. Listen. If I don't, I'd never no, speak. No, that's not true. That is true. That's not true at all. That Bottom is. line is this. And he's doing right now. He's interrupting me again. Okay? I have to. Yeah. So the thing is this. And the problem with him doing that is when you're stoned, you can lose your train of thought. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose my fucking train of thought. Okay? Because then I'd be the Boston Celtics. No, that's human nature. Okay? I'd be the Boston Celtics. Okay? Who literally, I, I'm questioning the education of some of these men. Starting with the head coach. Okay? These idiots have learned nothing. They've learned absolutely nothing. They're still arrogant. 
They're still, they, they still, they, they, they think some, they're entitled. This is, there's a real sense of entitlement with some of them. And it's not all of them, but it's, it's a few of them, and a few of them happen to be their biggest stars. It's a sense of entitlement, like, we wear we're this uniform, but we have 17 banners up there, bow. A problem with that is you guys put none of those banners up there. You haven't earned that right to even think like that or approach this like that, okay? You beat a team by 20 in game one, it means nothing in a seven-game series. It means nothing. And if you studied your history, you know the Boston Celtics lost game three to the Lakers in L.A. on national TV by 33 points, and they came back and won the series after being embarrassed by 33, worse than you got beat tonight, by a team nowhere near as good, which is what makes it even worse. Okay, the Miami Heat are missing Jimmy Butler, who is their best player, and Terry Rozier, who's a 20-point-per-game scorer. Boston, with them on the floor, swept them this season. Okay? Without them, they now have split two games. And they did it for the same arrogant, just arrogant. They're Bill Belichick arrogant. Arrogant. <laughs> okay? Fucking mentality. They still, they're fundamentally, they suck. They missed six free throws again tonight. And because no one thinks, seems to think that's important anywhere in that fucking locker room. Okay? They are an utter fucking embarrassment to the uniform. They're an embarrassment to their fan base. They're an embarrassment to themselves. Okay? They don't deserve to wear that fucking uniform. And if you saw this game tonight and you saw what happened, the Miami Heat shouldn't shoot 54% from the three if no one's in the fucking gym. And at times it felt like there was no one in the gym because they were wide open on most of their shots in the first half because the Boston Celtics didn't come out with the intensity <coughs> they did in game one. And here's where it really gets bad. If, if, as, as if missing... The two players I just mentioned wasn't enough. As if they blew them out by 20 three days ago wasn't enough. This team, as an eight seed last year, sent them home and did it on their home floor. Good point. Where on God's green fucking earth, okay, are the people, are, are anyone up there in, in, the, in the press box going, hey, Missoula, uh, explain to me this. I have a question for you. How do, how do your guys, after getting sent home by these guys last year, missing, why can't I be in that crowd to ask this question? I want to hear, I want to hear Coach Missoula's response to this. I really want to hear it. And, of course, Missoula, because he'll never admit wrong to anything, will say, well, it's a make or miss league, and they just made it tonight. That would be Missoula's response to that question. <clears throat> and, by the way, that is the response of a loser. According to my friend Ian Skinner, who watched the press conference tonight, Joe Missoula apparently had no problem with the Celtics' defense. What fucking planet, in what fucking universe, is Joe Missoula on right now? Seriously. How much did he smoke before the press conference? Okay? You've got to be shitting me. You think he smoked? Uh, I, I, that would be an excuse. <laughs> you wouldn't say something like that when you were high. I wouldn't say something like that if, you, if I was a shot up on cocaine. I wouldn't anything like anything. <laughs> shot up on cocaine? I'm telling you, stop it. <laughs> the interruptions need to stop now. Okay, the bottom line is this, okay? Joe Mazzula needs to go, and he's not going to gonna fire him in the middle of the series. But if they lose this series, which, by the way, now, there's a chance they're going to. <laughs> and if you think I'm nuts, you haven't been watching this fucking team for the past two and a half years, okay? It doesn't matter that the Heat are missing all these players. It doesn't matter because their coach is a man, and our coach is a gelding. <laughs> there it is, gelding, Okay? Coaching matters. It matters in the playoffs. And I would argue the Boston Celtics have the worst head coach in this playoffs. Now, does that absolve the players or everything? No, it doesn't. Christos Porzingis got pushed around tonight. The Heat, got, the Heat figured out something. Hey, because the first game they didn't touch him and he went off. Other than a couple of... Uh, Bam, Bam Adebayo threw him around, kicked him in the, in the, in the ass, and bit pistol whipped him tonight. On, and and manhandled him. In the first half alone, I counted six times when Porzingis hit the ground. Porzingis was done. It was over. He is a mental midget on a, on a team full of mental midgets. Okay? And it's got nothing to do with the talent. They are still the most talented team in this league. And would it surprise me if they won by 30 in game three? No, it wouldn't. They're Jekyll and Hyde. They're Jekyll and Hyde. So they could do that, and then you dumbass fucking uh, pink hat penny pushers, uh, pencil uh, scrubber scrubbers, will be like, yes, easy, 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 easy. Here's what you donkeys don't know. Jekyll and Hyde teams <laughs> never, ever win a championship in a seven-game series. They never win it because they're Jekyll and Hyde. They're not consistent. 
They'll look like the greatest team ever invented one week, one game. The very next team, they'll look like a 6-10 and 10 JV high school team from Millis, Massachusetts. Sorry, Ian. I had to do it. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. He doesn't know where Millis is, and the reason is because Millis doesn't matter. Millis is the definition of irrelevant, which is what these Celtics are on the verge of becoming. Okay? It's both the players and the coach, but the coach is the problem because he enables the players. What the fuck are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm on Twitter. And I typed in Joe Mazzulla, and I'm just looking at people just... Trash him. Crushing Crush him. him. Just absolutely... And I told him, it wasn't just me. Everybody's crushing him. Oh, my God. He deserves to be crushed. He's been defiant. He went back and forth with uh, Washburn, the reporter who called him out at every turn this year. And Washburn's looking mm -hmm. like he should be coaching the team. And Mazzulla looks like he's the only job he should have on that street is sweeping it. Look, okay? somebody put Joe Mazzulla making adjustments on the sidelines. Yeah. And it's a sloth at the DMV. Mm -hmm. Somebody else. Joe Mazzulla gets... Out coached again, and yep. he plays soft as fuck. Yep. Man. It's not just me. I'm pretty sure I'm in the majority on this, and it's not close. Every day is Joe Mazzulla's day off. Yep. Yep. And we're not talking 70 30 here. We're not even talking, we're not talking 80 20. Mm. We're talking about 99.5 to 0.5, and the 0.5 being <laughs> his family. Okay? That's it. That's it, and that's all. All right? These teams, this team is a bunch of donkeys. Mm. I can't. I am sick and tired. They are the most infuriating Boston sports team of my lifetime. <laughs> they really are. I can't think of another team that had this kind of talent that acted like this. Yep. Toss them. No, <laughs> if Joe Mazzola had one of these, we would sweep this series. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to interrupt you. It's no, just he, funny. Yeah, it's, I mean, at, least he's, at least he's looking at the right thing so he knows I'm not funny. off my rocker. Um, so No, you, you've you said this for a while now, and, and I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because I didn't watch him as much as you. But I think we both agree that if they don't win this year, you've got to. He's fired. Yeah, you got to. Like, I said before, he, if they don't win the championship, but he's fired. Yeah. And by, I can you, if he loses this series, he's fired. Oh, man. That he's fired good. the day after. That would be the first thing. Breaking news at 6 a.m. Joe Mazzulla fired as Celtics head coach. But you'd also have to really think about the players, too. I mean. It's the coach. They have enough talent to win. Mm. It's the coach. Mm. The I'm players, surprised to hear you say that. I'll tell you why. Because they're not getting the message. Who's delivering mm. the message? At least Emi so Udoka. You, so you think these guys are capable of doing this shit? If Emi Udoka was their coach, the right they'd, be, they'd be going for a repeat right now. But he couldn't do it with them. That was their first year. They I tell you why? Because defensively, this never same. would have happened. Mm. What happened tonight was a defensive failure. It was awful. So Ma was the coach when they lost to the Warriors. Yeah, that was turnovers. They didn't take care of the ball. Mm. They had forty. They had remember now. They had forty turnovers yeah, in two crazy. games, which led to forty nine points. Twenty one, twenty points in game five. Twenty nine in game six. Mm. And that's why they lost the series. You can't win a game like that. No, I don't care who the coach is. Yeah. But they didn't get beat on defense. Tonight was a total collapse on defense. If Emi Udoka is here, that does not happen. I was trying to explain to my wife and my son why I kept calling him all these names in front of them. And mm -hmm. I said, because a real coach, this wouldn't happen. Like, what do you mean he is the coach? Like, no, he's what we call an assistant coach. He's the guy you go to when you need to let your feelings out. Get some milk and cookies. You know, maybe a little couch you session. Think he's like the soundboard guy? Remember, remember the movie Miracle. What happened yeah. at the very first tryout? I will be your coach. I won't be your friend. If you need one of those, take him up with the assistant coach or doc. And he walked off. What did that team do? Oh, they just beat the fucking greatest hockey team ever assembled after getting eviscerated by seven goals 13 days before mm -hmm. because he wouldn't be their friend when things went bad. No, he kicked him in the ass. Yeah. Okay? Missoula could not go from that guy to being, he doesn't, he's the, they see him as one thing and they're not smart enough to know, to, to know the difference. And he's not smart enough to know he can't be that way with them anymore. And that's the problem. He never calls Jason Tatum out. He still... Jalen Brown <laughs> has been a horrific free throw shooter for two years now. The coach has done nothing to change this. Mm -hmm. And that's foul shooting. You'd think that would be the easy one because what a coach would say to that one is, you know, you score 26 a game. What if you shot 80% from the foul line? What do you think you'd average them? 32. Yeah. What if you shot 85 34. About 90. You'd be a leading scorer in the league. Yeah. <laughs> 34 points a game? Yeah, leading scorer in the league. <laughs> That's, and I, I, I seriously, I would bet Missoula has never uttered those words to Jalen Brown. Because Jalen Brown is still missing free throws in playoff yeah. games at home. That's tough. That there is the mark of bad coaching. Okay? Uh, look, I, I, I said last year Spolster was a better coach. The gap is wider than I thought after mm. what I saw tonight. 
Because they Miami well, have year a, two eight 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 one again. But this time it's the first round. First round. Ugh. After it's going, like you after you going, prepared for this last year. You went thirty seven and three at home, and you lose the second home game of the playoffs to the eighth seed, and they're missing two twenty point yeah, scores. Yeah, that's, that can't happen. The word you're looking for, America, is fired. <laughs> okay, he should be fired. Okay. And honestly, if Brad Stevens had any balls, he'd fire him tonight and he'd coach the team for the rest of the fucking series. Well, but he has no fucking balls, so he won't do it. Because honestly, I can do this for you. If Joe Missoula was fired tomorrow, no one in Boston would defend him. No one. No one. Well, I think he went a little... No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, 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 he didn't. No, 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 no. Okay? Because of all the reasons I just said, Okay, but for you stupid people, real quick, lost to this team last year as a one eight seed. They won three two games on their floor, including game seven when they blew them out. It was a bum blasting. Okay, okay, okay. They sent them home two years ago. Also, okay, okay. They come in this year. They, there's no way. There's no way, and they're missing two twenty point scores. There's no way this team should get within thirty points of them, especially on their home court. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Okay, and if you can't see that, you're as d- you're dumber than I gave you credit for. Okay. If Brad Stevens fired this guy tomorrow, no one in Boston would be mad about it. No one. Trust me. <laughs> Except for these pussy ass players. Well, what am I? I can't, I, I can't do whatever I want, whatever I want anymore. I'm not to be coming. Yeah, no, you can't. You know why? Because you are embarrassing this city. <laughs> You're embarrassing this sports town. You're in, it's an embarrassment. Just fucking embarrassing. I don't even want to watch you anymore. I mean, I don't care. Like, I'll, I feel like you know. I almost want to say, you know what? I'll wake me up if they get to the finals. I almost don't want to watch you play again. I never, even when the Celtics were bad, <laughs> I would still watch them. You make me never want to watch the Celtics again. That's how much you suck. <laughs> In fifty, almost fifty-one years on this earth, I never said to myself, "I never want to watch this team play again." Congratulations, you've reached another milestone. And the wrong one. And by the way, you know what else happened today? Here's, here's, another, here's how bad a coach Missoula is. Talk about a gift. A gift. It was all over the media the media day. The NBA, the NBA end of season individual awards came out. Not a single Celtic was nominated for any of them. Really? Not a single fucking Celtic was nominated for any individual award. MVP? Nothing. Six man? Nothing. Def- nothing. Defensive player of the year? Nothing. Wow. Nothing. And all this donkey had to do was take that press clipping and put it right on the front fucking door of the locker room. But this donkey would tell you and I in front of the microphone, well, that's just words. That doesn't really mean anything. It's what you think of yourself. Because the rest of the world doesn't matter. It matters now, Joe. <laughs> Again, it matters now. Okay, it matters now. Okay, you fucking sample. It matters now. Okay, they say this guy takes martial arts. What do you spar against? Pillows? <laughs> you be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Unfucking believable. I'm done. I'm fucking done with this team. I don't care if they win the next three in a row by 40 points each. I am done with this fucking team because they are a creature of habit. It will happen again. They've, they've done nothing. I said before this playoffs began, I still had questions about this team. I said, Missoula Tatum, you're on the clock. We're game two in. We're fucking game two in, and these donkeys have already laid an egg against a team that is not equipped to, for this to happen. Like somebody said this. This is the exact reason Joe Missoula isn't a finalist for Coach of the Year. Bro getting outcoached. Way too many open threes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, when, and by the way, when Porzingis was getting pushed around, where was Missoula getting his fucking face and say, man up, you fucking pussy. This is the playoffs. You want to be a champion? What, you think they were going to roll over and die? Fucking respond. Mm-hmm. We're paying you this fucking... Uh, fucking respond. You know why I'm paying you this money? So you don't fucking go in the corner and suck your thumb. People that do that don't get paid this kind of money. So fucking man up. No, no, no. Here's what Missoula did. He rolled up the milk and cookies. No, no, big man. <laughs> Take a seat. Hey, get him a cushion. Get him a cushion. <laughs> get him a... Get that the big... Yeah, the big... the big Yeah, that one. He like, You like that one, right, Chris? The, the big... The big cushion. The Chris big cushion. Steps. You like that one, old Christy? You like that one, buddy? I tried to warn you about him. Fucking... You thought he couldn't stay. He thought he'd be hurt. Not that he was mentally soft. Um, the bottom line is, Miami Spolster told his players before this game, knock this guy's dick in the dirt. 
Hit them every chance you can. I don't care if they call it. And if you don't believe me, go back to the first half of this game and count how many times Porzingis hits the deck. On he, at least he went down on almost every fucking possession. Somebody clocked him. They beat him up. Yeah, I hate playing the Heat. Okay, and but this is where the coach should have said they're gonna they're gonna hit you. You hit better be ready. Hit him back. Hit him back. Don't wait for it to happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're, but big, that's, you're bigger but, than all of them. But that's why Missoula can't coach. Because this is not about X's and O's, and it's not even that stupid hit chuck and duck offense of his. Okay? He has no idea how to motivate. He has no idea how to... It's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay? And, you know, Drew Holiday tonight looked 50 out there. He looked 50. What the fuck happened to him in the last three days? He looked like he was 50 years old. But again, you guys set this tone... At the end of the of game one, when you're up 34 points and you took your foot off your gas, instead of blowing them up by 40 or 50, you let them come back and they lose by 20 at the end because we had a fair foul. But you put you put some away. We can get to these guys. Not going. Fuck. Let's just hope we can get back to Miami and get one and not get swept. The game is 90% mental, something Joe Mazzulla doesn't understand, and it goes way beyond X's and O's. We're talking fundamentals, we're talking mental, mental toughness, and we're talking about sending a message. And great coaches know you want to get into a team's head. This is how you do it. You do it early. You make them. You make them wonder if they can even take a game. Forget winning the series. We just don't want to get swept. You did the exact opposite in the end of that first game when you blew, when you squandered the thirty-four point lead. You gave them hope, and then you came out on defense in the first half of this game like it was a fucking scrimmage. Go fuck yourself, Joe Mazzul. I'm fucking sick of you. Segment two coming right up. Fuck off, Mazzul.